It's time for KRGB Channel 5's Masterminds, a program geared towards Valley High School academics. With your host, Tim Smith. In round three competition, Sherry Land Pioneer High School and Edinburgh North High School match wits in their quest to become this year's Masterminds champion. Hey everybody, welcome to Masterminds in this round three competition. Today you saw it, South Texas Academy for Health Professions. I'll probably call you guys Medical Academy all day and Harlingen School of Health Professions. We maybe go by Harlingen the rest of the day. Glad to have you along for this round three game. Let's get right to it with our quick start questions for today. Longfellow wrote a poem about the wreck of which ship? And time is up, that's the Hesperus. Spell necromancy. That's uh, Medical Academy Priya. N-E-C-R-O-M-A-N-C-Y. That's correct. Well done. Who refused to shake Jesse Owens' hand at the 1936 Summer Olympics? All right, uh, Harlingen, Jaime. Hitler. That's correct. The oldest registered food trademark in the, U in the U.S., a red devil, illustrates what company's brand of deviled ham? And time is up. That's Underwood. Discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1498, this island was named for the three mountain peaks he sighted. Name it. And time is up. Trinidad. In Japanese, it's a word meaning talent or skill. In English, it's an expression of denial or dissent. What is it? And time is up. No is the answer. What supernatural event occurred before the births of children of Zechariah and Joseph? That's Harlingen Jaime. Um, like immaculate birth, like they weren't um, fertilized? No. Medical Academy, if I want to try it? Michigan, there is no. Time's up. Angels foretold their birth is what happened with them. The leopard and tiger types of this flower have coloration similar to wildcats. What are they? And time is up. Lilies. Named for Cascade on a nearby river. This is South Dakota's most populous city. Can you name it? And time is up. Sioux Falls. The original title of The Man from Mars. All right, that's the Medical Academy Priya. The Martian. The Martian? No, that's not it. Nice try. Harlingen, anybody? And time is up. Stranger in a Strange Land. And that wraps up our quick picks for our quick start for today. Masterminds is supported in part by Navy Army Community Credit Union. After our quick start, we are tied at 10 points apiece. And before we go any farther, let's meet our judges who are here once again from the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Please welcome Tim Sears, Assistant Professor in Practice in the Department of Biology and you teach College of Sciences, and Dr. Noreen Rivetta, Assistant Professor in the Department of Literatures and Cultural Studies. Give our judges a round of applause. <laughs> Glad to have you here. All right, it's almost time for Hot Topics, but before we do that, let's meet the team from Harlingen School of Health Professions. We'll start on this end. Hello, I'm Jaime Ramirez. I'm a senior at Harlingen School of Health Professions. In the fall, I will be attending Rice University. Among my endeavors at school is a political awareness club that I have founded, and I take much pride in my school and being a part of the medical profession one day. Terrific. Thank Welcome. You. Hi, my name is Matthew Garcia. I'm a junior at the Harlington School of Health Professions. I'm a violist in the National Youth Orchestra and was just elected HOSA Area 7 Vice President. Great. Welcome. Um, my name is Isaac Newman. I'm a freshman at HSHP. I am in Speech, Drama, Debate, UIL, HOSA, and Masterminds. Glad to have you here. Welcome to the team from Harlingen School of Health Professions. All right, it's time for your hot topics now. Three questions about current events. Don't need your buzzers, okay? Take the first answer we hear from the team. Here we go. Name the two teams which played for the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Then time was up. Villanova and Michigan. A tragic bus accident recently killed 15 members of a Canadian junior hockey team. In what province did the accident occur? Ontario. No, Saskatchewan. Texas is deploying National Guard troops to the border to back up the border patrol. Initially, how many troops are being sent to the Texas-Mexico border? 1,000. 
We'll take that 250, but they upped it to 1,000, so we'll accept that. So, yes, that's correct. Up to 20 points. Well done. You are in the lead. Now let's meet the team from South Texas Academy for Health Professions. We'll start with Brianna. Hi, my name is Brianna Bowder. I'm a junior at Medical Academy. Um, I'm in NHS. I'm the president of National Art Honor Society, uh, National Technical Honor Society, and Spanish Honor Society. Um, I'm the president and founder of our Cross-Examination Debate Club, and I compete and host a CPR and first aid as state qualifier. Terrific. Welcome. Hi, I'm Adrian Ojeda. I'm a senior at Medical Academy. I compete in UIL Science and Current Events. Uh, I compete in the EMT event in HOSA. I'm in NHS and the NTHS. Great. Welcome. Hi, I'm Priya Trakru. I'm a junior at Medical Academy. I'm in NHS, the president of National Spanish Honor Society, and I'm in HOSA Biomedical Debate. Terrific. Welcome to the team from South Texas Academy for Health Professionals. All right, time for your hot topics now. Same rules, three questions, no buzzers. Take the first answer we hear from the team. Name the new national security advisor recently named by President Trump. And time is up as John Bolton. The former president of what nation was taken into police custody recently amid corruption allegations and following a showdown with his own supporters? Venezuela. That was Brazil. What country is warning the U.S. against military intervention in Syria over the government's alleged chemical attack against civilians this recent weekend, saying any such response would be unacceptable and lead to the most serious consequences? Get on. That was Russia. So at the end of our first round, we stand at Harlingen School of Health Professions 20, South Texas Academy for Health Professions 10. We're going to take a break. We come back. It'll be time to meet our teacher coordinators, do quick picks, the grab bag round, all that more right after the break. Don't go away. Welcome back to Masterminds. Round three competition today. South Texas Academy for Health Professions and Harlingen School of Health Professions. Let's take a moment, meet our teacher coordinators from the two schools. We'll start with Harlingen. Matthew, you're up. Hi, this is Mr. Chilla. He's our school's AP Chemistry, Physics, and Art History teacher. And we're so thankful for, helping, for him helping to put out together our very first Masterminds team ever. Glad to have you here. Welcome to the program. We appreciate it. And for the Medical Academy, it is Adrian. Hi, I'd like to introduce Ms. Avila. She is our Masterminds coach. Uh, she's also an AP U.S. History and AP World History teacher. Uh, she's the sponsor for both UIL Extemporaneous Speaking events, and we're very lucky to have her. Glad to have you here. Welcome to the program. We appreciate it. Our teacher coordinators who help the students get ready for the show week in and week out, and hopefully yet another week for each one of these teams. All right, it's time to move on now to Quick Pick students. We're going to show you pictures on your TV screens. I have some questions about each one. You do need your buzzers. Here we go. These low-level clouds are among the most common in the sky. By what are these puffy types of clouds known? That's um, Medical Academy, Adrian. Cumulonimbus? No. Harlingen? And times up, there's a cumulus cloud. That's where you're going, Matthew, and cumulus. Didn't build tall enough. This is a picture of Scotland's largest city. Can you name it? And time is up, that's Glasgow. While this looks more like something you'd find in ancient Rome or Greece, La Madeleine is a church you'll find in what major European city? Harlan and Jaime. Madrid. No? Medical Academy Ground. London? No, it's Paris. This music is written in 6-8 time. The 6 represents how many beats in a measure. What does the 8 represent? Harlan and Matthew. The 8th note gets the beat. Correct. In 2013, this country was struck by a deadly typhoon by the name of Yolanda, one of the strongest tropical cyclones ever recorded. What country is it? That's Harlan Jaime. Philippines. Yes, that's correct. This man was president of Gran Colombia from 1819 to 1830 after leading the struggle for independence from Spain. Who was he? That's Harlan and Matthew. Simon Bolivar. Correct. In what state will you find Fort Knox? Harlan and Matthew. Tennessee. No. Medical Academy, anyone? 49 to go. <laughs> All right for you. Texas. No, it's in Kentucky. This looks like an odd shape, but it's historically significant. What does this shape represent? And time is up. The original 13 colonies. In what sport will you find this piece of equipment being used? Harlan and Matthew. The cross. Yes, that's correct. Before, become president, be, before becoming president, Herbert Hoover served as Secretary of Commerce for two presidents. Name either one. 
All right, uh, Medical Academy for you. Coolidge. Yes, and the other was Harding. Well done. That wraps up our quick picks for today. Masterminds is supported in part by Navy Army Community Credit Union. So after quick picks, the score is Harlingen 60, Medical Academy 20. That means Medical Academy gets to go first in the grab bag round. And you can see that Professor Sears is holding three envelopes. Which to choose? You can choose any one you'd like. Number two. Number two it is. You've got 60 seconds to answer the 10 questions in envelope number two. If you don't know one, say pass, okay? Take the first answer we hear. You don't need your buzzers. Your category is inter, I-N-T-E-R. The Latin word inter means between or among. Let's try some inter words now. Ready? Here we go. Located on the inside. Interior. Yes. A short piece coming between the major sections of an opera. Interlude. No. A light or farcical entertainment between the acts of a play. Intermission. No. To explain the meaning or me meaning of or to elucidate. Interpret. Yes. It means coming and going at intervals such as drizzle. Intermittent. Yes. A feeling of curiosity or a claim or legal share of something. Interest. Yes. It's the formal consultation to evaluate the aptitude, training, or progress of a student or prospective employee. Interview. Yes. It literally means to break between, to stop the flow of. Intercept. No. To impede, tamper, be a hindrance or obstacle to. Intercept. No. <laughs> a papal censure, withdrawing most, I'm sorry? Withdrawing most sacraments and Christian burial from a person or district. And time is up. Didn't get that one. All right, we got how many correct, judges? Five. Five correct. Well done. A uh, short piece coming between the major sections of an opera was an intermezzo. A lighter farcical entertainment between the acts of a play, that was the interlude. Uh, it literally means to break between, to stop the flow, was to interrupt, to impede, temp tamper, or hint be a hindrance or obstacle to is interfere, and a papal censure withdrawing most sacraments and Christian burial from a person or district is interdict. But it puts you up to 45 points. Now, Harlingen, it's your turn. There are two envelopes remaining, one and three. Um, we'll go for three. Three, all right. Let's see what you've got. 60 seconds, 10 questions, pass if you don't know one, okay? The team answer, no buzzers. Listen carefully. T minus 10 and counting, okay? In this series, your answers will count down from 10 to one, all right? Identify, here we go. The English name for the Decalogue. Pass. They included Clio, Erato, Urania, and Euterp. Eight. No. The way to the end of, the way to end the suffering according to Buddhism. Eight passages. No. They include sloth, anger, gluttony, envy, pride, avarice, and lust. Seven deadly sins. Yes. The 1967 conflict in which Israel captured the West Bank and Gaza Strip. Six year one. No. The name given to the Iroquois Confederation of the Senecas, Mohawks, Oneidas, Onondagas, and Cayugas. Skip. They include war, famine, pestilence, and death. Four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yes. A novel by Alejandro Dumas featuring Athos, Porthos, Dreaming and Eros. Yes. A Shakespearean play featuring Valentine and Proteus. Pass. A 1975 Jack Nicholson movie which won all four major Academy Awards. Back. Time is up. All right. Let me get on that. Three correct, puts you up to 75 points. Let's go over the others. The English name for the Decalogue is the Ten Commandments. They included Cleo, Arato, Arania, and Euterp was the Nine Muses. The way to end the suffering according to Buddhism, with the Buddhism is the Eightfold Path. The 1967 conflict was the Six Days War, as opposed to the Six Years War. The name given to the Iroquois Feder Confederation of the Senecas, Mohawks, Oneidas, Onondagas, and Cayugas was the League of Five Nations. A Shakespearean play featuring Valentine and Proteus was Two Gentlemen of Verona. And the 1975 Jack Nicholson movie, which won all four major Academy Awards, was One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Put you up to 75 points, holding the lead. And now there's one envelope remaining, which everybody plays on, so you need your buzzers on this envelope. Number one. So again, you do need your buzzers. We've got 60 seconds. This category is simply animal. All right, 60 seconds. Here we go. What animal has a Spanish name that literally means little armored thing? That's uh, Medical Academy Priya. Armadillo. Yes. A black panther is really a black version of what cat? Arlen John Jaime. Jaguar. No. Medical Academy Adrian. Puma. No, a leopard. What tiny herrings were first caught near the island of Sardinia? 
Harlan John Isaac. Red herring? No. Medical Academy Brianna. Great blue herring? No, sardines or sardinia. What's the best way to pick up a rabbit? All right, uh, Medical Academy Priya. Gripping its stomach and its back? No. Harlan John Matthew. By its ears. <laughs> no, by the nape of the neck. What do gorillas do when they're agitated? Harlan John Timmy. Beat their chest? Yes, that's what they do. Its name means badger dog in German. Harlan John Isaac. Tasmanian devil? No. The time is up. That was going to be dachshund. Those are dachshund. All right, so our score after this round is Harlingen 80, Medical Academy 50. We're going to take a break. We come back. It'll be time for art and music. Each question will be worth 20 points. Don't go away. Got a good game going on. Welcome back to Masterminds. It's round three competition. Today it's time now for art and music. We start with top art. We head to the art museum. Take a look at a piece of artwork. Ask you to identify the artist or the work. This is for 20 points. The artist or the work. That is Medical Academy. Priya. Degas. That is Degas. Ballet rehearsal on stage. There's another. That's Harlan and Jaime. Cezanne. No. Medical Academy, anybody? Okay, Brianna. Uh, Michelangelo. No, this is Whistler, Portrait of My Mother. That's where you're going next. That would have been the next guess. One for two on art. Now let's try music. For this, listen carefully. Identify the composer or the work. This also for 20 points. Harlan and Matthew. Blue by George Gershwin. That's exactly right. That was my father's favorite song. Here's the other for 20 more points. Harlingen Matthew. Vivaldi, Four Seasons. Correct. Absolutely right. Three out of four. Well done, everybody. The score now, Harlingen 120, Medical Academy 70. We're going to take a break. We come back. It'll be time for the final stretch. Don't go away. Welcome back to Masterminds. We are in round three competition today. It is Harlingen School of Health Professions 120 right now, South Texas Academy for Health Professions 70. This is our final stretch. We're going to ask questions until that bell rings. Whoever's leading at that point moves on to the next round of competition. Hands on your buzzers. Here we go. We start with a math question. What's the total number of people in three quintets, two octets, and one septet? That's uh, Medical Academy, Adrian. 40? No. Harlingen, who rang it? Go ahead. 39. No, the answer was 38. 38. Another math question. Convert 661 minutes into hours and minutes. And time is up, 11 hours and one minute. What geometric figure is formed by all the lines which can be passed through a plane closed curve at a fixed point not in the plane of that curve? Harlingen, Jaime. A cone. Yes. What is the sum of the infinite series 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial and so forth? That's Harlingen, Jaime. 1 over infinity? No. Medical Academy? And time is up. It's okay, go ahead, Priya. Three. Three. No, it's a good guess, but E. E. Turn the three around the other way and you'd have it. Many Orthodox Jews opposed the Zionist movement, which called for a return to Palestine. What word means the promised and expected deliverer of the Jews, without whom for them there could be no Jewish state until he returned? That's Medical Academy, Priyana. Messiah? Yes. Tomatillos are usually eaten when they are what color? That's Harlan Jenheim. Green. Yes. New Delhi became the capital of India in 1931. What city had previously been India's capital? That's Harlington Matthew. Mumbai. No. Medical Academy? Time was up Delhi, before New Delhi was Delhi. The change from positive to negative and back again in alternating current is known as one complete what? Harlington Highway. Cycle. Yes. 
His full name was Marie Joseph Paul Yves Roche Gilbert de Moutier. He was a brilliant soldier, better known by what title? That's uh, Medical Academy Priya. Napoleon. No. Arlington, anyone? And time is up, Marquis de Lafayette. Give me the correct formula of the compound phosphoric acid. All right, the Medical Academy for you. H2PO4. Say it again. I didn't hear you. Say it again. H2PO4. No, okay, not correct. Just wanted to make sure. Harlan and Jaime. H4PO4. That's H3PO4. All right. 85% of the gas that's spewed from volcanoes is what type of vapor? Arlington, Matthew. Judean. No. Medical Academy, Adrian. Sulfur. No, it's water vapor. The United States was at war with what nation in the year, this is a Roman numeral, M D C C C X I I. That's the Medical Academy Priya. 1812. No. What no. Harlingen, Jaime. Great Britain. That's correct, of what who we at war with. In the Abbey Church at Saint Denis in France is a sculpted monument that contains a human organ. The reliefs on the urn and base represent architecture, sculpture, music, and other arts to show the honoree Francis I was a patron of the arts. Try to guess which organ the monument contains. That's Medical Academy, Brian. Heart. Yes, that's right. This disease results from a disorder of the clotting mechanism of the blood. It's produced by absence of the necessary globulin. It's been nicknamed the bleeder's disease. What's it called? Hemophilia? Medical Academy, Adrian. Hemophilia? That's correct. I'm glad one of these teams got that one right. <laughs> both would have, I know. These two words for insurers and morticians both begin with the word under. What are they? That's Harlan and Matthew. Undertaker. No. Medical Academy? And time is up. Two words. Undertaker and underwriter. Mm -hmm. Looking for two words. In a Hemingway title, there is death in the afternoon, but there's darkness. At what time of day in the title of an Arthur Kessler novel? All right, that's Harlan's and Matthew. Noon. Yes, that's right. What happened about the same number of years before the birth of Christ as the end of the Roman Empire in the West was after? The Iron Age, Vikings sailed for the West for the first time, the Golden Age of Athens, or barbarians invaded Europe? That's uh, Harlan and Matthew. Barbarians of video. No? Brianna? The Golden Age of Athens. That's right. No medieval alchemist would have dreamt of such an idea, but scientists in Japan have now converted sake, while GE scientists have used Jack Daniel's whiskey to produce this very pricey form of elemental carbon. Can you name it? That's Medical Academy, Adrian. Diamond. Yes, that's right. SAT means scholastic assessment test. What does ACT stand for? That's Harlan and Jaime. <laughs> he forgot. That <laughs> was up. All right. I think it, Medical Academy. Uh, Priya. Advanced collegiate testing. That's American college test. We all take it. Didn't know what it was called. What four letter word is used to describe a computer that is broken or otherwise out of order? And time is up. The computer is down. That's where your head is, right, Matthew? What, are the what area of the United States is most often reflected in the works of painter Andrew Wyeth? Medical Academy, Brianna. The Rocky Mountains. No. Harlan and Jaime. The Midwest. No, it was New England. What is distinctive about the sounds emitted by insects? All right, Harlan and Isaac. They're at very high frequencies. No. Medical Academy, but. And time is up. They have no real voice. It's rubbing the body parts together to make the sounds. The first ten amendments are known as the Bill of Rights, but which future president proposed six of those ten amendments? That's Medical Academy Priya. Jefferson? No. That's uh, Jaime. James Madison? Yes, that's correct. When operating in the Atlantic Ocean off New York City, a vessel should be in A, north latitude, east longitude, B, north latitude, west longitude, C, south latitude, east longitude, or D, south latitude, west longitude. That's Harlan and Matthew. B. B, that's correct. How many hours does it take the Earth to rotate through 30 degrees? 
And it doesn't matter. You're going to say two. I know that's where you're headed with that. But our time is up. The game is over. The final score is Harlingen School of Health Professions 190, South Texas Academy for Health Professions 120. That means Harlingen, you move on to the next round of competition. I want to congratulate and thank all the students for all the work you put into to be here today. Congratulations on making it to round three. Thank our judges here once again from UTRGV, uh, Professor Sears and Dr. Rivetta. All right, Harlingen School of Health Professions. We'll see you in the next round when we see you at home next week for another exciting competition of Masterminds. Thank you.